This is the new enclosure. Look how big the Paku is. Our fish are just getting so big. It's like an alligator comes up. Honestly, for all I know, there could be one in here. Oh. Oh, big one. Oh. What is that? Oh. oh. Oh, yeah. Fellas, take a look at this. Instead of us having any sort of mud, once the landscape's done, which by the way, Tuesday, all the landscape gets done at the house. Once all this is done, there's gonna be no dirt tracks. Like, look at this. We won't see any more of that. What is going on, fellas? Welcome back to another video today. Well, today's a good day. Today's a day not only at the farm, but we're also going to get some fish for the outdoor pond that you guys have loved so much on this channel. So, to get things started, let me show you what we just got done doing. I have stones all the way over to do the water and feed over here hog and coon coon area by the way this is the new enclosure it is so much better being over here and the whole other side of the yard is completely grass now it's beautiful but yeah we moved this all the way over here so there's an enclosure in the back and to get to it we just laid all of these cement uh, pavers so back that way you know what's funny is these will probably end up just getting covered with uh, mud regardless and we'll probably end up doing a pathway in here but until then we have this this looks really good good enough for the time being take a look at that about as close as you can get right there. Nice work. I can't wait, dude. Landscape Tuesday, goodness gracious. We got Babe over here. I put some wood there so she can't like barge under the fence, but Babe is loving her life over here in the goat enclosure. And her goat friends, I know, are enjoying the company. As you can see, they're just got a fresh bale of hay and a nice little kiddie pool. We got this for Babe because she loves kiddie pools, so we just got that today. I'm sure she'll find it eventually. King, what do you think about the pool? He's like, I I'm a goat, I don't do that. As you can see, we're working on, this landscape has been doing amazing. We just finished it. Yesterday I did this, I just got really bored, so I did some landscape. And uh, we finished off the pond, so now the pond looks really nice and looks like it's almost meant to be here. These vines should grow on the pond. Look at our fish. Doing a big old water change right now. We have to do water changes quite often in this pond. Uh, more than I'd like to, but my filtration isn't exactly up to par. I have to upgrade my filtration on this um, with the amount of fish that we have. So eventually we'll do that, but uh, one step at a time. All right, folks, one step at a time. It's been real busy here. Look how big the Paku is. Monster Paku. Even our iridescents are getting huge. Like our iridescents are massive. I would say our catfish are like at least like 20 pounds now. It's actually absurd how big they got. All right, come on in. We're going to the fish building. Between the cichlids, the shark, the predatory fish pond, and the reef pond, which the reef pond, today's having a crazy day. The reef pond just looks so incredibly clear. Look at that. I mean, my goodness. That's impeccable. So, so beautiful. Our fish are just getting so big, so colorful, and everything is so healthy. Even the, like, look at that jack. We gotta move these fish over to the shark pond soon. Like we need to move these fish all over the shark pond. But I wanted to show you an update on our tank that we did last video. Look at the tannins in the water now. See how brown it is? Oh yeah, that wood is, is leaking out for sure. But all the fish look amazing. Our Colombian tetras, our neon tetras, our angel fish, everything looks really good. Even the platinum archer fish. All right, you know what's amazing? Because it's so easy to fill this pond. It's that easy, we've rigged it all. This property is literally like homemade. Like everything here is done to just save time and, and energy, pretty much. I mean, look at this. Turn on and off my pond to fill up and down depending on the season. If we have dry season, I turn it on, keeps it full. This has been the best thing ever. Now I do still want to, I would, I would love to put a liner, a nice waterfall in here and really take it to a whole nother level. Just, that's like a $40,000 project. So it's it might take time if we ever do that, it would be next year at some point. This has been just absolutely killing it just naturally. As you can see, the plants have gotten huge. The water is crystal clear. I mean, you can see all the goldfish in here. This is probably like a couple thousand gallons of water right here. And we don't have anything other than the 300 goldfish that we bought. So today's game plan is to go to a spillway. And I'll explain what a spillway is here in just a little bit and catch something out of that spillway and bring it back home for the freshwater pond. So quite the idea it just randomly came to my head last night. I'm like, I really want to go one fishing and two, I want to get some stuff for this. So hopefully we can catch some fish. That's the goal. And hopefully you'll hang around for uh, the day with us. I know I've showed this once before, but these plants are so cool. Take a look at this, ready? And then they close. Isn't that awesome? I mean, just look how clear that water is. It's like an alligator comes up. Honestly, for all I know, there could be one in here. We are in Florida. Alligators, snakes. Oh my goodness, dude, there's probably so much in here that I don't even know about. Look, everything closed. It's so crazy. Enough talking here at the farm. I, I feel like I could talk all day to you guys. So what we're gonna do now is we need to go buy some hooks, we need some bobbers, and of course, last but not least, worms. Live bait. Oh dude, Bill Dance is on there. 
Oh, they got that's, to catch them. That's, how, that's gonna catch fish. I'm telling you right now. Bill dances on the container. There you got it. Oh my god. Hard read error, red. That's something that. I, Payment declined. I thought I had at least that. We're here at uh, at the spillway. If you look that way, see the water pouring over? We'll go over there in just a second. I just had to try this old spot here, this bridge. I used to catch a lot of cichlids and other random species that get pushed over. So what this is essentially is the other side of this is a freshwater canal. The freshwater canal opens up gates into the salt water. This canal then runs out and eventually makes its way into the ocean. Uh, it's called the spillway. Freshwater canals get from all the rain runoff through the streets and everything gets put into there. Then essentially comes through here and when it gets too full, they have to open those gates and allow it to come somewhere, aka this location. So that's where we're at right now. And we're gonna see if we can catch some of the fish that got pushed in from the freshwater side and has since made a living over here on the salt water. It's not salt water, it's brackish. This is, it's not even brackish. If I tested this water, it's literally fresh water. This is fresh. It's so much fresh water coming through. So we're gonna see if we can catch some stuff for our pond back at home. And we've got our night crawlers to help us do this. Look at those night car. Oh, he's squirming. That's the tiniest little worm. That's a full worm. I feel like it's only right we sacrifice one into the dirt. Feel free. <clears throat> he's in the grass. That's what, you gotta give one back to Earth. Imagine I just drop it right here and get something. Nothing there. Oh yeah. That's a cast right there. So folks, we walked over to the spillway side. There, as you can see, a little bit of the water is being pushed through. That's the fresh water, goes into this little area here, and then flows over into salt water. It's crazy, I actually caught my biggest snook, here's the picture, my biggest snook ever. Monster snook, 47 and a half, 48 inches, which is just crazy size. Oh, look at the little turtle. Oh! See what he's in plants? No way. Tiny little turtle. All right, folks, we came over to another spot, which is very similar. I'll take you over to this side. You'll see here. The water is so high, it's coming into this way this time. All right, so typically, that's crazy. I've never I'm seen sure it like that. Is. That is insane. I know for a fact this tarpon right here. This big fish sitting right there. I wish I brought my other rod. So this is another spillway, uh, same exact thing. Actually, this side of the lake is all fresh water. So this is fresh water. See the cichlid? Yeah. Oh! Oh, big one. What oh. is that? Oh! Oh, yeah! It's a madman. What if a giant snook comes out and just smokes this thing? <laughs> Alright, folks. Well, that is exactly, exactly the species we were looking for. This right here is a Mayan cichlid. It's an invasive species, actually, and there's just so many at this point that they don't even categorize it, I don't believe, much anymore. They don't even talk about it. Like, a snake had spoken about often. They don't even say this thing's invasive. He's got that hook down in there. Now, he's got teeth. Look at these teeth. I would reach my hand in there, but these little teeth right there? Ooh, that would not feel good. I feel like I'm almost obligated to just stick my finger in his mouth and get bit. There we go. Nice. Got the hook out. There's our cichlid right there. Really, really cool fish. All right, cichlid. There you go, bro. I saw you. I manifested you. I literally saw him down there. I put the worm on his forehead. Ate it. Same worm. Poor dude didn't even get his meal. Holy smokes, look at them all. Are you, f Are you kidding me? <laughs> Is that our sign to like leave? We've been fishing here for quite some time, fellas. I thought we'd be able to catch more, to be honest, but that is why it's called fishing, not catching, eh? Just like that, folks, unfortunately, couldn't get more than one. We got one Mayan cichlid. Uh, Bill Dance didn't really do us a favor here today. I thought he was gonna do us a little better, but it's all right, we got one and that's what matters. Now, we gotta bring this guy back to the house, the farm. We're back home, we have our fish, which we need a name for our cichlid. He's the only cichlid in the pond right now, so we need a name. We're probably gonna see him just like we saw all the goldfish just a second ago when we walked up. Can you see him on camera? It's so hard to see him, even on the iPhone. Holy smokes, look at them all. There's so many. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's clear enough. Look at them all. And they're like chilling. They're fun. They're big chilling. Oh, why? <laughs> they just keep going. There's so many. Look how big they got. A hundred of them right here. Holy smokes. Oh my God. <laughs> the whole entire bank is full of goldfish. It definitely worked. 
That's for sure. And the water stays high now because I can fill it up easily. So that's that's exactly why these things are just thriving. So many goldfish. I mean, that's insane. We put like, how many? 300? 300. 300. 300 goldfish in here a couple videos back. Dude. Holy smokes, fellas. Look at all these goldfish. And obviously they're thriving, this pond is amazing, and I don't even have the fountain going. It just stays so clear because of all the trees and the aquatic plants and everything. It's awesome. Now, we are adding another addition, and I'm sure he's gonna find a beautiful spot in there to hang out and spend some time. But look at that. The spot on the tail, they'll use that to defend themselves and or act like an eyeball towards predators. So, let's say Ty is a predator. He'll yeah, whip, gonna, the, he'll whip this this way, and the fish is like, oh goodness, and then boom, he comes in with the mouth from this end. Yeah, and he licks me. Yep, and licks you. He's got some teeth, bro, look at that. First cichlid going in the pond, and uh, oh, there's, no, there's not even my open spot anymore. Really? Let's go to the other side. Come on, buddy, what's this guy's name? Philip? I don't know. This is it's Philip for now until we find comments. So comment down below a name. Philip is going in the pond. All these goldfish are about to shoot their pants. All these goldfish are about to poop their pants. See you later, Philip. See you, Philip. Where do you go? In, under the weeds that I need to cut back, bro. Holy smokes! Look at this. Half the pond, full. Like I need to go in there with a pair of scissors and cut a good. I would say a good chunk like that. Just that side needs that. Holy smokes, there's a lot of it. It's growing like a. I guess it is a weed, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. So behind me, we got a new fish for the pond out of a spillway, which is really really cool. If you guys want to see more fishing content, I just clapped my hands. Water went in my eye. If you guys want to see more fishing content, let me know. Name our fish in the comments down below. And you saw how good the goldfish are all doing. So good news on this backyard pond. What else should we get for it? Also, let me know down below. Gosh, that's a lot of questions for him. Sorry. We'll see you right back here in the very next video. Peace.